Hello, ladies and gents. I'm the Rev, and this is Starpoint Gemini 2, uh, the campaign missions. Now, the last time we were looking at this, we had to go all the way to the other side of the galaxy, and the ship I had just wasn't going to cut it. Where are you there, buddy? Let's see. That's oh, a Corvette, just like what I have. Well, we'll see if he gets close enough. No, he looks like he's running away like a little girl, which is fine. So, I spent about, oh, 20 hours, leveled myself up around 20 levels, uh, and I went and I purchased, if this looks something familiar to all you guys that have played out there, our Mer Meridon, which is the Corvette that you start with. No, it's a frigate, right? Yeah, it's a frigate, Mimardon, that you start with uh, in the fr in the free roam before the beta was released. Now, I'm not sure what you start with now. We'll find that out probably real soon. But the reason I got this was for the simple fact that it has a cloak. And overall, for the price, which is like, I think, $2.4 million, you get a pretty decent ship. I mean, I really like it. It's balanced well. Um, and how I did this basically was running missions and killing everything in sight. And then every single husk uh, derelict that I found, I would use the scavenger swarms on them. Now, they didn't work in beta correctly, but they do work in the released version. So you are good to go. So we'll take a look a little bit more at the ship in a bit. But first... This is where we have to go, and how I got my ship was I went to Planet Sora. Now, you're probably asking, well, how the hell do you go to get to Planet Sora way out there? Well, the way you do that is through the T-Gates, and we haven't gone over this yet, and I would want to show you guys. So, as you go through here, you can see all of these various things, right? All these different gates, and it'll take you to them all over everywhere various prices do keep that in mind it does cost to go so the Palomar T gate gets us close the Nexus probably is the one that we should take it's gonna get us the closest there so, let's do it and see what happens. And this is what it looks like, rolling through a T-gate. Of course, it does hurt, but... And I'm sure we'll drop into hostile territory, so the first thing we're going to want to do is drop into cloak and hope we don't get blown out of the sky. I suggest checking the star chart, Captain. New missions are available. Okay, so, map... Oh, we actually are in a friendly part of space. Now, one thing you will notice if you come out here with this, sh um, out here to Planet Sora, is that the missions are all pretty damn high. All of them. So, when we last left off, this is what we were up to. Contacting Dr. Eleanor Riley is crucial. Her advanced ship was able to go to locations that were inaccessible to others, but locating her could be a problem. Captain, so I shall remain with you for the time being and help you out. If you have read my report, you understand it is imperative we contact Dr. Ridley. But if she decides to stay in the shadows, it will be a hard task. I have a friend on the actual station in Wasteland. He might be able to assist us. Please check your log for more details before we travel there. And so we're going to travel there. Boy, this T-Gate's got all kinds of... As you can see down here, abnormalities. Ab... Yeah, abnormalities. That's weird. Yes, sir. There we go. 
So while we're going there, I'll give you guys another run here at the old ship. So, like I said, I spent a lot of time going through and upgrading the ever-loving crap out of this thing. And this has got just about every single awesome thing you could get from uh, the high-end battery, energy recharge, weapon range, critical hit chance, critical hit damage, weapon range, hole damage, additional EMP. These guys are the same as up here. And then we've got system hit points, protection from hack attempts, cloak card to detect, chance that firing doesn't deactivate weapons and cloaking, which it always does. We've got a transporter, more hit points, a little more range. Speed, protection from hacks, more hit points, power to engine charge up time. And then of course we've got power, protection from hack attempts, recharge rate, chance to retaliate against hack attempts. And then I just went for a balance when it came to my shields. So energy resistance, proto projectile resistance, and plasma I resistance. The star chart, Captain. New missions are available. Well, we'll think about it, honey, depending on what happens when we get out here. So then we've got system hit points, chance from attacks, chance to detect cloaked objects. And then our grappler, more hit points, a little bit of range, chance for the grappler to weaken shields of the grappler object. So like I said, I really just decked this thing out with everything I could possibly find. Of course, we were just running with flat scavenger swarm. Nanopots, shield booster, and our old shit button. These are the extras. This is the place. Here we go. I contacted my associate, and he will have the papers ready soon. However, since he is a wanted person in several sectors, no direct contact will be established. Papers will wait for us at the ruins of Tesla Station as soon as we do him a small favor. Uh oh. A small favor, of course. Well, the man is taking a great risk. We need to eliminate an elite assassin squad. Oh boy. Probably multi ops that is stalking him in the vicinity. All right. That would appear to be it. Course adjusted. Rerouting all power Actually, hold on. And as always, every time you go in, you want to make sure you've got everything you're supposed to have. See if they've got any good thing here. Ooh, that's not bad. Well, no, yeah, it is. NPCs aren't that good. No. And I've already got the melters. What about here? 710, 495. Ooh. 1366. But look at that range. Ah. 538 versus. 600-ish? I don't know. Hmm. We'll think about it. Of course, then we look at our systems. Equipment. We're good on our T-drives. We're good on our shield boosters. Always pick up more scavenger swarms. Because the more you get, the better. Trust me. Make sure when... Oh, we do have some crap to saw off. All right. And you can see I'm at 4 million credits here, so I can give me another ship. I'm looking at either um, probably a battleship next, if I can get uh, enough credits. I think I still need a couple of million more credits, so that might be some more work on the side. Again, it depends on where it drops us and what we have to do, but I wanted to make sure I dialed this in so we could get a good chunk of the, uh, the missions done here. Of course, we got our mercs. And uh, we got plasma cannon damage because of the two plasmatics I'm running now that are pretty heavy, uh, 300 some odd damage. Fusion torpedo, which is what that weapon is as well. It's got an additional bonus of 10 to it. So I doubt I'm going to find anything much better than that. Missiles, yeah, that's missiles. And then power, power recharge rate, shield recharge, system hit points. Always good things. Shield recharge... Grappler, yeah. I think we'll pass. Alright. So, let's go to our mission. Course adjusted. Rerouting all power to engines. So one thing you do want to keep in mind 
that yes, you can capture ships, but once you start getting as beefy of weapon systems as I have, um, you tend to blow things out of the sky so fast that it's not really an option. Um, and I haven't been able to capture anything above a cruiser. So, which is weird because I'm a lieutenant now with my rank and I should be able to get something like that. But, oh well. It is all good. This will be interesting to see what we run into out here. See how fast we can smoke it. I think you guys would be pleasantly surprised when you see the power that I've got going here. Other thing I want you to keep in mind. Now, I'm hitting my R key, and down here you can see this right here, right? That, if it shows up on this, but does not show up any other way, that is a hero. Ooh, 45. I might be able to actually take him. Oh, uh oh, that's a battleship. Ow. And it's adjusting over touch. Ooh, that's a cool looking battleship, isn't it? We've destroyed an enemy target. Yeah. He is gone. We are receiving coordinates of the cargo container that holds what we need. Okay. Aw, oh, damn. I was hoping I was, I'd was i be able to... Damn it. Well, that sucks. I was hoping I'd be able to... Um, swarm that bad boy and show you guys... What, I can, what you can get. So something else you want to keep in mind when it comes to the heroes. Yes, the bounties are awesome. New waypoint confirmed. Where's he taking us? Okay. But the big problem is that a lot of times you got to look at the level because these guys will smoke you and smoke you fast. Um, my luck, while I was leveling, I got killed, oh, 15, 20 times because I'd see something come in, think I could take it on, and then go, oh, shit. It's a hero. And I got smoked. So, you have to do what you can. But again, it just all depends on what your play style is and what you want to do. I could probably take on that that hero that we saw. If we see him again, we'll we'll go after him. But like I said, it all depends. Boy, there's a lot of junk out here, huh? We got some more missions, assassination. Cool. Of course, we're still in green fractions. We'll see what happens when we get it a little further. If we get pushed into the all right, and our main quest: paranoid much. Okay, so we're gonna try and pick up a cargo container, huh? Oh, we're in a new area. Oh, good. At least it's still friendly. Oh, we got wormholes all over the place. Now, wormholes will damage your ship. You can rock and you can roll them. They'll take you to new areas, but be very careful because first, when you come out of them, they do are one of the few things that actually have a gravitational pull, and they will pull you back and forth, back and forth. So when you come out, you get your engines ready to go. Now, before I told you guys that you can hotkey up your stuff over here on this left side, and what you see here is I got everything hotkeyed where I like it. We'll keep everything full of shields because we don't know what we're running into. But, I personally have been using that a lot. So, we'll just have to, like I said, keep going. Uh-oh. Tesla Ruins Syndicate. Okay, something tells me that's... Well, it's, it's against us. But, it doesn't appear like it's functional. That's a good thing. All right, all right. It's all good. We'll get in here real quick. I'm sure we're probably going to get attacked from it. 
I'd be surprised if we didn't. Okay. So, what are we supposed to do now? Hmm. Let's see if our log tells us. No. Nope. Pick up the... In. So how do we do that? It won't let us scan it. Nope. No scan. I don't really want to blow it up. There we go. Throw our boys over. Nexus space is probably the best place to seek any hint about Dr. Riley and her ship, the Archimedes. Now that we have clear papers that grant us entrance into the perimeter, we can start our search. Morse suggested we f suggested visiting Fidelity Outpost first. Dr. Riley had many friends there during her employment for Nexus and Dr. Scott. However, we'll have to be careful since these days Dr. Riley is regarded as an outlaw by the official Nexus government. Okay. Ooh, not the freelance. Yes, sir. All right. Firing new coordinates. Affirmative. Engines on overdrive. Ooh, I wonder if I picked up another perk. Let's see. Yep, so it is every five levels. As you can see, we got plasma cannons dialed out and rail guns. And now I haven't decided what I'm going to start doing. Probably going to be... Uh-oh. What do we got? Freightliner, military... Sure, let's get involved. Maybe this will be big enough and I can show you guys uh, swarm-wise how good they are. Yes, sir. Fire at will command executed. Enemy ship destroyed. Later, son. Right. Cool. We can get right in there. All right. So we'll just zip on in here. Now, standard practice is to get about, oh, 300 for your distance, just to make sure. And, of course, stop. Throw the swarm at it. See what we get. I'll probably pick that other one up, too, while we're at it. <laughs> Excuse me. The last time I did this... One of these is <coughs> where I got the plasmatic from. Alright, so let's see what we get. Oh, we don't even get a full hole. But systems. Oh, geez. So. Looks like we got a magneton and two of the plasma cannons. Now, the good thing about this is price. That's a sizable chunk of dough, and so is that. Awesome. Let's send out another swarm. And folks, that's right there is the fastest. This is the fastest way to make money. I'm telling you. Then you can start thinking about upgrading your next ship that you get to, what you want to put into it. Cargo hold is full. I know it is, but we'll make more money faster as we get faster. Uh, oh boy! So this time we got three of the dragon plasma cannons. Whew. And those are ninety-one thousand a piece. A couple of those. Energy cost, not bad. Plasmatic still blows it out of the water. And then equipment wise, we got some good chunk. And then cargo, a bunch of stuff. Cool. Alright, so let's see, where is a station on the way? Well, the one we are at. So, what we'll do 
is we'll just go there. We're not going to run that mission, and the easiest way is to fix that. Hit the freelance, see this where it says taxi. Hit cancel. There we go. And you just do that when you are, you know, you want to go to a station, but it's got a mission on top of it. Easiest way, doesn't hurt anything. Seems to work real well.